Divorce is not an option, Gavin Newsom tweeted while on his trip to China last week to preach the gospel of climate change, casting himself as a savior. Perhaps nuptials were on Newsom's mind because Xi Jinping treated him to a week-long honeymoon, apparently organized in part by a United Front organization. To believe that the CCP could be a trusted partner on environmental issues is, as Oscar Wilde said about second marriages, the triumph of hope over experience. Let's look at the CCP's environmental record. The People's Republic of China is responsible for 33% of all global greenhouse emissions. While the United States and Europe are reducing carbon emissions, in China, emissions continue to skyrocket, increasing 10% between 2022 to 2023 alone. Last year, the CCP opened an average of two new coal plants every week, which is six times more than the rest of the world combined. It also approved more coal plant capacity in the last year alone than exists on the continent of Europe. According to the WHO, air pollution in China causes a staggering 2 million deaths a year. The CCP strip mines the world's oceans, subsidizing a distant waters fishing fleet estimated at 10 to 100 times the size of the United States and Europe's fleet combined. 90% of the globe's fisheries are now either fully exploited or depleted. The Chinese government itself estimates that 80 percent of the groundwater in China is polluted, and a similar percentage of major river basins are unsafe for human contact. Governor Newsom needs to recognize that if he truly cares about the environment, not just elevating his presidential ambitions, partnering with the CCP is like bringing an arsonist with you to fight a fire. When it comes to saving the planet, the CCP is not part of the solution. The CCP is the threat itself.